Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for joining me this evening. Today we're going to be fishing uh, some big bite baits. The Cane Thumper 3.5 inch paddle tail. So I got this in uh, Pearl. And I'm going to be rigging that on an EWG with a 1 8 ounce piece of tungsten. And maybe move to lead if I lose all my tungsten. But we'll see how it goes. I don't think so. I'll be rigging this pretty uh, weedless and beating the wrap. So let's get some fish on, guys. I see them busting everywhere. I'm thinking probably largemouth by the way that they look right now. But let's see what we can do. Good fish, guys. That's a nice one. Come on in, baby. All right. We own one. All right, new swim bait coming through, guys. Different rig than I usually throw, but it's working out. Uh, works the rip crap well. Look at that, real pretty one. Absolute stud right here. All right, my friends. First beautiful large mouth on. Look at that fish. That's a good looking fish, guys. Good sign, nice fighter. We're gonna keep it up. I'm gonna get her back in the water ASAP. We're gonna get some more fish on. Let's get at it. Big bites paddle tail. Mm, turn out pretty, uh, pretty on point. I'm seeing balls of bait uh, moving around uh, my area right now, so I'm trying to chuck my paddle tail right underneath and just jigging it a bit. Seems to be the money. All right, let's re-rig this little bad boy. Oh. Okay. Trying to get you in there all right. Y'all are uh, familiar with the channel. You know, I probably prefer fishing these bad boys on uh, jig heads. I gotta be real with you. I've taken this paddle tail out several times now on a jig head. The action is just kind of off. Um, really, really wobbly. Uh, I guess it's just inconsistent is the way I would say it. So um, this rig seems to be working out well. And right now what I got is a 1 8 ounce uh, piece of tungsten on there and a uh, two or three out EWG. I'm not 100% sure, but makes it extra weed uh, extra weedless for working this wrap and uh it's turned out all right i hope this wind isn't too bad either it is a bit windier than uh normal water levels are a bit high after all these storms and we are working this on six pound Good fish. Good fish. Nice bass from up out there. Keep her down. Fighter. Fighter, feisty one. All right, guys, another real pretty largey. All right, y'all, we got another one. Oh, man, this has just turned out to be a super stellar day. I'm stoked, man. I've only been out here about 15 minutes, man. Back to back almost. Good looking fish. Got some sharp teeth on this one. Tore my thumb up wriggling. I'm going to get her back in. We're going to keep going at it. Thanks, Big Bite Baits, by the way. All right, guys, well, these seem uh, somewhat durable. I mean, that's two fish off of one. Uh, yeah, able to re-rig it pretty good. That's kind of how I got it rigged. I just uh, pretty much T-rigged this bad boy. And then I got a uh, 1 8 ounce um, piece of tungsten on there. Sheesh, tearing me up. Some good fishing so far. What if we got another one immediately? How cool would that be? I think I just, I'm gonna sit here for a bit till the bike kind of slows down for about a half hour and then I'm gonna jump spots. Uh, right now, this is pretty good.
got one. Nice one, guys. Come on in. Hey, it's a pretty little spot. Chin hook, my friend. Another pretty one, guys. This bait's coming in clutch, man. Look at that white belly. Good looking fish. Absolutely awesome. This turned out to be a spectacular day. Let's see, what time is it? Six. So I ain't even been here that long and we are just packing on fish. Good fish. Come on in. Little fella right here. <laughs> like a little fatty man thanks little buddy got one come on in little one so we got some smaller ones over here over on this side but thankful for them Small ones, I eat it too. That's for sure. Thanks, bud. Let's throw a couple more casts before I head out. Hey, what's up, everybody? I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Had a great time making it, as always. If I sound a bit off, I am sick as a dog right now. I used to never get sick. Then I had a kid, now I get sick. Pretty often. It comes with the territory anyhow. We'll get into our bait. So the big bite baits. Always hard for me to say big bite baits. Cane thumper. So it is a 3.5 inch paddle tail. Comes in pearl. They give you a nice eight pack. Generally when I buy these baits, if they don't have at least eight in them, I buy two packs. Um, because I know I'm gonna probably lose at least eight. However, the way we rigged it today, it really didn't lose that many. Um, I kind of mentioned in the video, initially I tried fishing these on a jig head and um, I just wasn't having much luck. I don't know if it was just a fish that day or whatever. I mean, I'll typically bring three, four baits out and I'll find, dial in what's getting bit and then I'll work that bait and make the episode about that bait so the content's watchable. I'm not gonna be just, Oh, today we're doing crankbaits and not catch any fish all day. Maybe get one little one at the end. If uh, they're hitting paddle tails, I'll, I'll typically bring a paddle tail and a few different colors, lighter, darker, see what's gonna work for me. Um, a reaction bait as well, like a jerk bait, something like that. Anyhow, guys, cane thumper, pretty legit. 3.5 inch, that's right in my golden zone. I like to throw a under four inches is typically what I do, but above two inches. So right in right in that window, that seems to be pretty effective for me for the majority of the species that are gonna bite this in the uh, at Cumberland, which I was fishing. So um, durability wise, it's, it's pretty durable. I'll tell you what, it was a lot more durable on a jig head. When I started rigging it like this and it would just, you know, blow, the fish would just blow it right up that line. I'd have to re-rig it over and over again. It takes a lot of damage. I mean, I got through, I'd say probably about two fish and I had to reset it or a couple big, bigger rock bangs and had to do that. Now I got it on a, this is a two aught right here. So I'd say two, three aught is probably all you need. Uh, EWG, so extra wide gap hook. And the way we're gonna rig it is, I'm just gonna stick the shank of that hook in there, or the top of that point of that hook, slide it up the shank. There we go. Make sure there's enough uh, plastic you got for um, to cover up this eye. 
and uh, this one has been used, <laughs> so that's why it kind of looks a little wonky. Got it like this, gonna turn it upside down, and you got a little like slit right there. Pop that right through. There we go. So, and yeah, not to insult anyone's intelligence, I'm sure majority of you guys all know how to rig these, but anyone is new to fishing watching the channel, just figured I'd throw that out there. Try to be helpful. Anyhow, I'm gonna take my tungsten, you can use lead, whatever, steel, your bullet sinker, that's all you need. I like a one, one eighth ounce, maybe one sixteenth ounce. And you're just gonna stick it to the tip, like so. There we go. And I'm not using a peg or a bobber stop. Take your paddle tail, pop that down there. And we are going to tie a Palomar knot. My all time favorite knot, my go to knot. Sometimes I'll work with a loop knot. Uh, sometimes I'll do a, a clinch knot. And if I'm working a leader, I'll do like a double uni. But besides that, I got excess off. Those are, those are about all the knots I use. 99% um, of the time I'm throwing a Palomar just because I can tie it really fast. I'm comfortable with it and it's it's strong. It's all I really need. But there you have it and that weight kind of flies free on it. <laughs> One thing I'll say is when you are fishing these paddle tails like this, keep in mind that once it hits that water and you start reeling in, eventually that weight's going to hit that bait and it's not a strike. I kept on thinking I was getting hit. I'm like, what's going on? Throwing it out there, I'm like, boom. And I was like, oh yeah, yeah, it's just my weight hitting my plastic. But, well, I'll unrig this. I'm actually trying to get out today. I don't know, I'm pretty sick. So if I end up feeling a little bit better, I'm gonna go out for like an hour or two, soak up some sun, maybe try to sweat a little bit, sweat this cold out of me. But, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Uh, by the way, Rod, we're using that Gladiator Anti. It's a medium light, a, uh, a six foot five fast action. Absolutely love it. Pair with an Aldebaran BFS and that gear ratio is 7.851. I will place that in the description like I always do. Anyhow guys, I'm gonna eat some soup or something, but I hope y'all are good. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other and uh, get some good fish on. Hope no one else out there has a cold. It uh, sucks right now, but I'll catch y'all later. Peace.